This presentation is going to talk a little bit about some things that are important to Christy and I uh, when we form a specialty eye care group, what we wanted it to stand for, and what we really wanted to do with the success that specialty eye care group had. As you may already know, Specialty Eye Care Group is made up of more than one company, and this is because Christy and I are committed to having our practice be um, something a little different. We want to focus on individuals who are suffering and be able to help bring them uh, hope and bring them relief. We want to enrich lives so that they can succeed to their greatest potential whether that's a child in Africa or whether that's somebody in India who's needing a drinking well. As you'll see in this presentation, we've been committed to try to help uh, many people succeed. Our doctors uh, are all committed to that, and uh, something that we've loved about the other two doctors that have joined our team is that they're committed to giving, um, not just to taking from patients, but to giving. We know blindness is ranked as uh, amongst the top four worst things that could happen. Um, and 39 pe million people in the world are blind. And we just want to be able to contribute in some ways to help those people out. Christy and I uh, went, on a, 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 went on several mission trips, and one of them we did together right before um, we got married. In our, in our, this was in our third year of optometry school, was to the country of Honduras. And we got to see some devastating effects and people walking for nearly a whole day just to see us for their eye care. And uh, it really struck a, struck a balance with us. And Christy, also, Christy and I also did other eye care mission trips. I, myself, to the country of Moldova and her to, the, to Mexico. Here you can see me in my first, second year of optometry school in uh, the country of Moldova giving eye care to people and um, people that may have otherwise not been able to afford glasses. And Dr. Young's done several trips to Thailand and been able to help those individuals. And Dr. Shen is very passionate about eye care and um, has done many mission trips, this one here to the country of Mexico. One of the things that we contribute and we give money to every year as Specialty Eye Care Group, the money that we make as an organization goes off, not just to our pocketbooks and your pocketbooks, but it goes to other things. One of those things that we contribute to on a monthly basis with the money that we receive is Optometry Giving Sight. Um, this organization works in 39 countries. Um, it's been able to disperse $22 million to giving people eye care um, over the last, you know, f last 10 years. Um, not only is it giving a person a pair of glasses, but it's building sustainable eye care projects. Um, 14,000 eye care professionals are trained. They're working to develop optometry schools and things specifically like that. What does a child see for their future? Moonwalks? Sold out stadiums? The presidency? The most striking part of any child's dream is their ambition. But the key to all those ambitions is a good education. And getting a good education is difficult. Without clear eyesight. Every seven-year-old child, when going to school, should take along a certificate from an optometrist and say, I've had my eyes examined, I'm okay, I can see. Every 11-year-old child going to secondary school should do the same. 80% of what a child learns is processed visually. But right now, millions of children around the world have vision problems. And the tragedy is most of those problems are preventable. Many children face a life of limited opportunities and poor education simply because they haven't had an eye exam. A pair of glasses can change everything. There just aren't enough eye care professionals and eye care facilities in the places that we need them. So how do we fix that? Our Children's Vision is a global campaign designed to bring eye care to 50 million children by 2020. By working together, we can reach more children in more locations. We can speak with a unified voice to gain support and funding, and we can get the right resources to those who need it. If we succeed, a child will have her eyes tested. If her vision needs correction, she'll get it. 
When she opens a textbook, the words will be clear and tomorrow's world will be hers to shape. There are so many wonderful organisations working towards a similar goal, but this is a big battle and it's going to take something special to win it. So join us at Our Children's Vision. We know that every child everywhere can have access to eye care, but we also know that it will take all of us to achieve it. As you can see, this organization is a great organization. It works to give uh, eye care um, internationally to people that are in need, and obviously our uh, a, a big one is for children's vision. Another thing that Specialty Eye Care Group contributes to is the Rotary Club of Bellevue. I'm a member of the Rotary Club. Um, there's 1.2 million Rotarians worldwide, and the things that Rotary stands for is that we promote peace, we fight diseases, we provide clean water, we work to save mothers and children, we support education, and we grow local economies. We do this um, by donating and raising money, and oftentimes it's matched through grants. For example, the Bill Gates, the Gates Found Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, um, is a big contributor to some of the grants that Rotary does. One big one that we're doing is the creation of uh, something called an inspiration playground. This is so that kids and adults of all abilities, um, those with disabilities and those without, are able to play together. And we've uh, worked to raise millions of dollars so that this can be put in uh, in downtown Bellevue. Um, one of the big things that uh, Rotary has been working against is um, to eradicate polio off of the planet. Um, and we're this close. As you may know, polio cripples thousands of people throughout the world, and uh, we've nearly eradicated it. It's only, um, only present in just a couple countries, and some of those countries, it's just that Rotary has not been able to get in to, um, to work to eradicate them. But you can see that um, the, 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 the change since 1988 of what Rotor Rotary has done along with other organizations. 99% of the world um, is uh, poor, 99% of the way. The countries that are not are countries that we're having a difficulty getting into. Um, and the, the majority of children that uh, contact the disease are under the age of five. Um, so you can see that this is a, a really important sort of thing to do. All it takes is a drop uh, in the child's mouth to be able to uh, you know, eradicate and, and vaccinate them for life. Other things that we do is uh, involved with local areas to educate the public. Uh, Christy was part of the Children's Vision Task Force that worked to put the, um, the eye clinic in the Children's Museum in Seattle, and this was um, put through by the Optometric Physicians of Washington, um, which our doctors have been very involved with, and uh, worked through the King County Optometric Association, which Dr. Shen has been the treasurer for years, and Dr. Christie and I went through the treasurer, secretary, vice president, and presidency um, several years ago. So um, beyond that is some speaking and lecturing that I have the opportunity to do across the globe. Uh, many of you see me leaving and going and speaking, and I uh, have the opportunity in our clinic to do research and to get the opportunity to work with some products so that we can educate other people. I have regular columns in several eye care publications um, that we contribute to. In fact, the image on the right from Contact Lens Spectrum is a cover article that um, we did here in our office several years ago, and those are all our patients' pictures that are on the front of that publication. 
I also have a video um, series that I do along with Dr. Mila Brugic where we uh, educate practitioners about various different things with the eyes through video. Um, we find that it's more helpful and um, they can see actually patient cases and then we can help them treat their patients. <laughs> Beyond that, I'm very involved with um, with students uh, from the top right. I'm at the very, very top right. Um, and my speaking partner, Dr. Mila Brugic, um, he and I speak all over the country and get opportunities to be in front of media and talk about eye care and things related to how to serve patients better. Um, and Christy and I have um, understood that there's value in this because we get the opportunity to share the innovation that we're doing in our practice with other people. Mila and I also own a company called Optometric Insights, which we go around to optometry schools and teach uh, optometry students as well as new and early uh, graduated optometrists how to be better doctors and how to, how to get be, become more successful faster so that they can see more patients and help more patients. This is just a view of our website. One thing that I was very honored to do was to be named amongst the 50 most influential optometrists ever. And uh, so that was very, very cool. Um, it was published in the 50th anniversary of the publication Optometry uh, Optometric Management and uh, was very honored to be amongst the top 50 um, uh, ever. And that's, uh, that was a huge honor. Christy and I also have um, been involved with some other organizations like India Gospel League. And a couple of years ago, we contributed a, um, a well. And uh, so these children didn't have to travel all day to get food and, or to get water just for their family. They could go to schools. Drinking water is a very valuable resource, as you can imagine. And so Specialty Eye Care Group bought a well in India a couple of years ago. We're also very passionate about children's vision because so much of learning is through the eyes and so few children have had an eye exam. Uh, infancy is just a great example of that. Uh, and This is a baby who uh, got her pair of glasses for the first time, um, not in our office, but was posted on Facebook and just showing what the infancy program can can do. As stated earlier, uh, a couple years ago, Dr. Christie was awarded the uh, Pediatric Optometrist of the Year Award, the Infancy Award by the American Optometric Association for the United States. So obviously very honored to have her. And Dr. Young and I, and Dr. Shen and Dr. Christie as well, are very passionate about reducing and slowing down the progression of nearsightedness for children so that they don't go on to progress into other diseases. So we use other technologies to help slow that down. And dry eye is a prime example of that as well as we can do things to slow it down so that these glands that you can see here in this video, they don't get clogged up and plugged. And then uh, the patient ends up having a uh, damage which causes atrophy to those glands. We use a treatment called lippy flow which helps to get them open. The pyramid of vision outlying that vision is more than just 20-20. Uh, if we don't improve the patient's vision beyond just seeing the eye chart, then they may not be able to read. They may have vertigo. They may have dizziness, uh, nausea. They may um, go through extreme fatigue and not be able to function normal, whether they've had a concussion or they want to improve their sporting performance or this child here um, was spending four hours a night doing homework and was getting C's. After she did vision therapy, she was um, caught up to her grade level in reading within just a couple of months and then was able to get A's and B's with, you know, ha working normally like a normal child um, for for her schoolwork. And it was all because she could see 2020, but she couldn't process that information well. So at Specialty Eye Care Group, the reason why we work to innovate so much is because it allows us to 
uh, help educate and push the profession forward. We see our footprint as being so much more important than just the patient that we see today. It's more important than just the patients we see this week. We're making decisions, we're helping patients today so that other doctors who we can educate can improve the lives of their patients. We're making changes today and improving and innovating so that we can provide research, so that we can push the profession forward and we'll maybe someday be able to to treat my family or your family in a better way because of the innovation that we bring about. And for that reason, we don't sell low-priced products because uh, we want things to be the best for patients. But also, Specialty IQ Group is a business, and we want to be able to, um, you know, have a good living for both you and for us and be able to uh, take the contributions that our patients give and be able to help distribute that back out to organizations like Optometry Giving Sight, to Rotary, to uh, to India Gospel League, and uh, and others uh, that may come along in the future. Thank you for taking a moment to listen to this presentation. We think Specialty Eye Care Group has given a lot and uh, has a lot to give in the future. And uh, the more the more we are able to succeed, the more we're going to be able to help other people succeed.